<laughs> it's morning time, little man. Where's Jade? Boo! Oh, is that you? That means get me outside. I want to go in the garden right now. <gasps> oh, he's my boy! <gasps> he's gone. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Chase, go. Go. Who are you telling to go? Who are you telling to go? Go. <laughs> Chase, who was a good boy last night? We had a breakthrough in the night last night, me and Jace. Yay! Mummy slept in the caravan just in case you didn't watch yesterday's vlog with the girls. Didn't I? Did Daddy bribe you in the night? And little man <laughs> slept all the way through the night. All the way through. Didn't wake up for a bottle, didn't wake up for nothing. <laughs> Are you a lazy boy? Did you not wake up till 9.50? I didn't wake up till 9.50 this morning, no joke. And it was so weird because I was so worried. I actually jumped up out of bed and checked him at 7.10 to make sure he was okay because he hadn't woken up by 7.10. <laughs> And I thought, oh, he's fine, he's, he's great, I can see him breathing, I can see he's all good. So I fell back asleep and didn't wake up till 9.50, which is, n that never happens. <gasps> oh. That never happens. <laughs> Little man slept good last night. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty, who are you growling at, man? It's about half past ten right now. Should we go get dressed? Who are you growling at? We've been lazy today. Who are you <laughs> growling at? Oh, we've been lazy. <laughs> Oh, we got some good news for our iPhone today, don't we? Yeah, we got some good news for about 120 people that are waiting for something so patiently. <laughs> He's desperate to go play. Let's go get him dressed and showered for the day. Good morning, iFam. How is everyone doing? It feels like the first day that we should be back into some sort of routine today because Easter's over with now and the bank holiday is over with although I'm lost with dates I need to double check but I think the girls still have this week off school um we have been doing bits of homeschool each day anyway just to keep up routine we've been doing spellings and reading and things like that bits of maths on the girls computers but We've not had like a structured school routine going for um, a couple of weeks now, something like that. So I don't know if the girls should be back at school today, that's really bad isn't it? But either way, we're just taking it easy for these next couple of days. The sun is shining so nice today and I feel so so grateful that we've got our garden to be able to sit out in and play in and Jace is patiently still waiting by the door for me to let him out bless him we've been upstairs and got ourselves ready and yeah how are you guys doing i know that we've been in lockdown now for almost three weeks i think and how are you guys coping with that have you enjoyed it have you enjoyed being able to be with your family at home and take things at a much slower pace than usual or are you absolutely at your wits end and you can't wait for it all to be over so you can get out comment down below and let me know I, I'm a bit torn to be honest. I've actually really liked being at home, um, but it's I've felt quite a lot of pressure with the vlogs to be honest, and I don't know if it's come across on the actual vlogs, but I have panicked a lot of days. Like, what are we gonna film today? I'm so stressed. I don't know what we can film, and it's gonna be a really rubbish vlog, and no one's gonna watch. But I know some days I've struggled with vlogging, but we've managed to come up with something every day, so that's good. Anyway, I am still saying your face is adorable. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You want to go play out, don't you? He's like, come on, mummy, please. Let me in this garden. With girls have just come in and got their breakfast. And <laughs> taking it back to the caravan. I'm going to let you out. Come on, let's go play for a little bit. Let's go play for half an hour. You're just so desperate. To where are your shoes? Jace, you've literally got toys everywhere. Why are you obsessed with a brush? Why are you so obsessed with cleaning the cleaning the patio? <laughs> he loves this thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's such a nice day today. It's literally not even lunchtime yet and it's absolutely boiling out here already. Our garden is such a sun trough. We're so, so lucky to have this garden. I've just been into the garage really quickly to look for some 
something <laughs> that we can do today because I don't want to go out to the shops obviously unless I absolutely need to and I think we'll be okay for food for a couple more days so I didn't want to go out um, but I do want to do something with the girls today. I've got a few activities already in the craft box that I've got in mind to do over the next couple of days which you guys are welcome to try out at home too if you've got the things and I'll be vlogging doing those but I wanted something to do more in the garden. We do have chalks and things that I thought we could chalk our patio flags rainbow coloured. I've seen so many other people do that online and they look amazing. I thought we could do that but I think I might save that until Thursday because that's the day that everyone goes outside and claps for our key workers and the NHS so I might leave that until Thursday but I went into the garage to see if I could find any other games because I know in our garage we've got lots of outdoor toys. I know we've got one of those bit bat things where it's on like a Pot a big pole and you bat it and it's like a big ball on a string but I cannot find it anywhere it's somewhere in that garage I wanted to find that but I can't I did find like a few swimming pools and paddling pools but I also found a den making kit which I got a while ago and I think I might get that out for the girls today I remember when I bought that I thought mm, is this a bit young for the girls and then I thought no it's not if there's something my girls love it's making dens it's basically just poles and then balls and you get to stick the poles in the balls and connect them all together and make a den and then put like a, a sheet or a blanket or something over the top so I think after breakfast when the girls have got themselves ready I might get that out for today. I was about to add that I think Jace would really enjoy doing the den making kit as well but I think he might just spend the day playing with this brush. <laughs> it's so funny I need to go on Amazon and see if I can find a baby sized one because it's too big for him. Surely Amazon do kiddie brushes. <laughs> what are you doing Jace? Why are you so obsessed with a brush? Before we do anything else today, if you guys watched yesterday's vlog, you probably know what we're about to attempt. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, we tried to dye... <laughs> You're right there, babe. <laughs> we tried to dye Isla's hair, and all it did was stay in her head. Um, <laughs> we didn't have much luck, did we, Isla? It did go pink a little bit, as you can see, but this was also with using the tissue paper hack that we learn online um, and today we're going to try met what we're doing Isla do you want to tell the Harley iPhone? Quinn we're about to try Harley Quinn hair so we've put it into two ponytails and we've got blue dye and bright pink dye and these were just used with tissue paper so we just put some blue tissue paper in a bowl pink tissue paper in a bowl hot water, hot water salt. tiny bit of salt and now we're about to dip her hair in it and see if it works this time are you ready to try <laughs> yes doing okay yeah we've been about five minutes and this is looking like it's taking way better than what it did yesterday should we do like five we'll do, should we do like five more minutes like yeah. ten minutes we'll do ten minutes and then see what it looks like okay and then we'll do the other side so one of the jobs that we wanted to get done yesterday was get the pressure washer out clean the drive clean the caravan and just no, we won't get the cars done as well but clean the drive and the caravan and the patio steps and things around the back because they're all looking mucky after winter very mucky after winter come here little man so we've got all the stuff out ready to go it's an absolutely gorgeous day today look at that blue sky so the perfect day to do it right jace now the only question we need to ask is are you gonna help or are you gonna be a hindrance i think you might be a hindrance but we'll see okay <laughs> inside dyeing hair. Esme and Dad are just currently washing up the caravan. So me and Jess are playing in his car. Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Whee! Guys, all that money that gets spent every year on hair dyes and all you actually need is a one pound packet of tissue paper 10 minutes of your time and oh my gosh you get this boomies oh my gosh look at her hair, her hair. <laughs> that is from tissue paper oh my goodness i can't believe how amazing it turned out oh i know it looks so cool <laughs> Oh my gosh, so the blue's a little bit patchy because her neck was hurting and she couldn't hold her head in But it looks incredible <laughs> It's so cool. Are you happy with it? Yeah I can't, I can't believe how, how, how like strong that Oh, are you, what are you doing? You're getting it out 
You going out? There you go. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, I can't believe how good it's gone. It's gone such a bright colour. <laughs> okay, so a top tip for anybody that's wanting to do the, the hair dye in the way that we just did it. We boiled the kettle and put boiling water over the tissue paper, left it to like soak for like 15 minutes, something like that, so the water wasn't boiling for Isla's hair. And then we dipped her hair in it like we showed you guys, sat there for about 10, 15 minutes, something like that. And then I swilled the hair very carefully with cold water. Don't use hot water or warm water because it'll just pull the hair dye straight back out. So swill it with cool water and then I only swilled it lightly so a couple of times to get all of the excess dye off but I didn't fully squeeze it till the water ran clear or anything like that. Um, I'm guessing if you do that the colour still stays but just a little bit lighter. But yeah hers is that colour because I just swilled it off lightly and then I blow dried it and that's all you have to do. It's amazing. Beware though that this dye, if you touch it, or it touches clothes, or it goes on any surfaces, wipe it up straight away because it dyes anything it touches. Now Isabel's got her ends in Isla's leftover water. I don't know if it's going to work because it'll be cool, the water now, but we're gonna see. Is that good, Liam man? Got Jay's having his orange. We got Esme with her ice pop. Ice pop, is that what they call it? Yeah, ice pops. Definitely ice pops. And then Isabel's just come down yeah. After drying her hair, and I am actually so impressed right now. It's actually quite good. I did, the camera's not picking it up very well, but I didn't expect Isabel's to change colour much. Number one, because her hair's such a dark brown, mm -hmm. and number two, because the hair dye had been used for Isla, and it had gone cold by I the time. Yeah, but Isabel just cold. said, and I said we should just try just it anyway. Just pop it in anyway. But it has. So she's done this side like a blue, which has gone like an aqua bluey greeny, which it's is like, like a, yeah. a turquoise. Like a, kind of corally like blue yeah. <laughs> And then this side, which has gone like a pinky red. Yeah. So yeah, tissue really paper works. Like, oh my hair just now, but I don't think I don't I know. think it looks so nice that colour. You like the blue better, don't you? Yeah. Isabel likes the blue, but nice. I really like that red. I, I think, think that blue is just like they're both really different though, aren't they? The reds are really bright and like summery and then this one's like I yeah, like, I think we should do like, it'd be hard to do your roots, like the top yeah. of your head though, because you're just dangling your head in water, unless you laid... <laughs> if you bathed it, your if whole you body it, would die! <laughs> you, would do, you would do like, you could do like it in the sink and put your head in the sink. You could hold your head over the sink, yeah, you could hold your head over the sink. Oh, that's a good idea actually, put it in the sink. Because you don't have to hold your head there long, for like 10 Put minutes. Down the sink? Just no, no, because it doesn't the dye the counter. balls. It's like low across the counter and then have yeah. it. Anyway, it's worked really well. Yeah, I'm super I'm really impressed. Happy it yeah. It's really cool. So we just got done with the caravan. We've also stretched out and did the windows on the back of the house and the windows at the front too and the patio. We went all to town. But Esme is such a little trooper. That girl is amazing. Once she sets her heart to a job, she gets it done and she does it perfect. So she's been a great little help this afternoon. So that's done. Sarah's just putting Jace to bed right now. The girls have just sat themselves on the sofa with a Disney movie. I don't know why, because it's absolutely beautiful out here today. I don't know why they're not enjoying it, but they want to do that, so that's fine. And I'm just about to crack on with a DIY project that I started yesterday, which is basically this. You might be thinking, what on earth is that? You'd be right to say that, because no, you know, most people don't know what on earth I'm talking about. Excuse the mess as well behind me. This is all my DIY project bits that I need. So obviously we're going to be in lockdown for a while, most likely. And it's like I've seen most rollerbladers or most of the people that I skate with and know, etc., from all over the country, have all built themselves a, uh, a practice thing at home so they can keep practicing their skills whilst they're at home in the back garden or in the driveway or whatever. Um, and, you know, just to keep fit during lockdown and all the rest of it and make sure that the skills are top up so when lockdown finishes we're not all unable to do things anymore we're not, we're not we're all not able to we've all forgotten how to do tricks basically because that's what happens when you don't practice something all the time you forget how to do it your body doesn't want to do it anymore it doesn't know how to do it anymore etc and i had pretty much resigned myself to the fact that that was going to just be me i was just going to not not skate for however long lockdown is for and and um and I'd try my best to get back into it as much as i could once i once obviously lockdown was over with but i can i cannot stop practicing a huge long period of time if it's going to be you know six months or months or however long it's going to be i need to keep fit i need to keep practicing because if i don't by the time lockdown's finished i'm going to be severely overweight from all the overeating i'm doing in the minute i'm going to feel awful in myself which i already do and i'm not going to be able to do anything on my rollerblades anymore and i just got myself to a really really good stage before all this happened and whatnot and um and I don't want to lose it. So long story short, I've already got a practice rail, as you guys know, this one, but it's dangerous. It's dangerous because of these, these feet on it. So these feet are obviously what keeps it stable, but when you miss a trick and your wheels hit that, 
you know, you go down. You know, there's no, there's no three ways about it, you go down. So for me to be able to practice at home, save to minimize as much of the risk as possible, number one, I'll always be skating with full pads on, wrist guards, everything. So taking a fall is gonna minimize my risk of injury, certainly to the point where I'm gonna injure myself where I would need to go to hospital, which is good. And then secondly, by me making these tracks that run alongside the feet of the rail, so that when I miss a trick, my feet, my, my wheels hit the wood and not the feet, and I just roll away. And there's no flipping upside down, there's no falling backwards or anything like that. And I've done that a few times on this. I've hit them feet and I've gone down. One time I did it not too long ago, I posted a video on my Instagram and I hit my head on the road. It was not nice, it terrified me. Covering up all these feet basically with um, some wood that I had spare and once they're all covered up, the rail's gonna be pretty safe, pretty safe to use. There won't be no more tripping up on the feet if I miss a trick or anything like that. And, um, and it'll all become relatively you know, very, very low risk to practice on. So keep all my skills up of the tricks that I know how to do and I've got down. Not any new tricks or anything fancy or anything, just purely to keep up all my basics. So my feet work, keep fit. I keep mentally fit up here as well, because no doubt I am missing rollerblading so much. That's the plan anyway, but we'll see how it goes. So Jace has just gone down for his nap. The three girls are watching a movie, getting out of the sun for a little bit because it's so warm out there today. Jace is, uh, Chris, sorry, is actually in the garden doing so goodness knows what with this rail. So I'm just gonna leave him to get on with that. And I, oh, I was just about to say, I'm gonna sit down with a cup of tea, but then I saw our kitchen that looks like this. So I guess I ain't gonna be sitting down anytime soon. I'm gonna be cleaning it. Now that the kitchen's more organized, not perfect, but it's a little bit more sorted. I've just come out to tea at the garden because I need to enjoy the sunshine while it lasts because it probably isn't going to last for long. I've got my cup of tea, oh my gosh, and my downfall, these biscuits. Oh, these Cadbury biscuits, the Cadbury chocolate sandwiches are absolutely divine. Like the nicest biscuits I've ever tasted. So I've got two of those and then I've got here some notebooks, which I'm pretty sure lots of you guys watching this will be very, very happy to see. I know everybody that's been affected by this has been emailed personally already, but just for you guys that are watching that are wondering what I'm talking about. Basically when the notebooks arrived, a couple of weeks ago I put them online and we sold a massive amount of them again and I was posting them out and then I got to the end of the books and still like 30 order sheets or something and I was like why have I oversold them and then it turns out when I went into the shipping that only like I can't remember how many like a quarter or something half of the books had arrived and the rest were still in transit and so they were delayed basically so I was waiting for them to arrive I was so 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 stressed because they'd sold like a hundred and how many 120 or 140 142 had sold that we couldn't fulfill um thankfully the first two days worth or the first one day worth I can't remember but a huge amount went out but after that obviously I couldn't do it so we took them offline straight away and stopped selling them emailed everybody personally and offered to sign them because of the waiting that you guys have had to do um and if you didn't want them signed because of the virus some people might not want me touching their books and unwrapping them because they come in this cellophane then we offered to include um a piece of pocket money range merchandise instead but nobody replied saying that they all wanted the book signing so we've got 142 books to sign babe let's sit down and do some with me <laughs> and we can now put them back online so we've received quite a lot of emails saying where are the notebooks coming back so they're back up now so just for peace of mind just being completely washed my hands for a good minute and i'm also going to use some of this which is 70 percent or more I can't actually remember the actual percent that's in this, but I know that it's the one that kills, oh, 70%, 70% alcohol. So I'm also going to use this. So just for reassurance, for anybody getting a notebook, that um, my hands are clean. So these three just came out after their movie. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, it was good. Cool, and they asked if they could help. Now I don't actually have 
anything they can help me with with the notebooks because I just want to get through them really quickly. And it's best that we're not all putting our fingers and hands all over them. But I have got something super fun for you girls to do. Okay. Ali, you're looking so cool with that dress and wellies. <laughs> so cool. Okay, you ready? Do you think that looks cool? Yeah. That looks so cool. Build your own hideaway like den. The and then you just put like a sheet over it or a blanket. Oh my gosh, yeah. That so there's really two. Good. Because okay. I don't know if they're small or how big it'll be, but there's two. We can so make it in how, however we want. We can, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. How about we just combine them together? Yeah, you can. That's what you can do. How's it going, Esme? Good. <laughs> okay, so I've been. I've been ordered to stop sawing loud stuff because Jace is asleep. So I'm gonna let him sleep before I do any more carpentry. Good girl, Prini. Prini's having the best day ever today. He's chilling outside in the sun, loving life, being a good girl, Prini. That's right. Then look at you, looking very um, very chilled right now, Prin. Very chilled. Esme's building a cool den. How's it going? Is it good? Good. You want um, some? Can you pass me some of that as well? Yeah, sister's got bored, so dad's coming to the rescue. I'm going to help you build a boss den. Come and join dad and Esme. This is looking good, Es. <laughs> so we've got a funky shape going on over Ooh, here. That. Which I did. <laughs> Be a cosy corner. <laughs> and now we're just building it up. Oh. Ready to put a blanket or something on top. That's cool. Just woke up from his nap. Hey! <laughs> Get that dummy out! Get that dummy oh, out, you must make him again. He's like, no, mommy, stop! <laughs> Something happened to the den. Yeah. And it sort of all like knocked down. <laughs> they put blankets. Put his head. They put blankets on. They were being impatient. I said, wait until Jace wakes up so that I can get you a big, um, super king size sheet from our bedroom. And then they were like, no, I think this will work. And they put on blankets that were definitely too oh, heavy. They were oh. though. And then like, I, I think it was Ellen knocked it on over me. Yeah, one of them knocked it by which accident. Which they can out Anyway. Mama, 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 mama. <laughs> oh my god, I love you so much. I can't stand it. Right. I'm gonna put you a bit something a bit warmer on, and then you can go play out. I'm actually just gonna put him a sleep suit on because <laughs> this will be nice and warm for him, and it's not got legs, so I can still put his shoes on. <laughs> Guys, I kid you not, as may have spent all up <laughs> all afternoon making dens with his den kit. She's literally made a den, broke it down, made a den, played in it, broke it down, made a den, broke it. Made a den, played in it, broke it down. She's literally made so many dens and she's having an absolute blast. <laughs> Isla and Jace. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm in one of those moves today where I just feel so grateful for everything. I feel grateful for this den kit and the fact that it's kept my little firecracker Esme happy for so long. <laughs> I'm so glad I got it out. Ed, how much does Esme love that den thing today? She's literally just been playing with it all day long. I'm so glad because it's one of those things that makes her imaginations run wild. And Isla keeps, Isla's gone back to it now. She keeps going over and playing in it. And they both said that they'd they'd make their own house. So we'll make what my, I'll make a house over here, and you make a house over there, and then we can come to each other's house. It's so cute. <laughs> been outside all day today since we made the oh, den yeah. oh, and it yeah. collapsed and fell onto Eileen Prinny which is hilarious. Eileen? Eileen Prinny. <laughs> She's hilarious but we used some of them. We didn't use all of them like as you can see uh, but we made a den. Okay guys so we're now in Let's Let's go go back. Back. Wait should I put these up? Yeah. I'm not gonna hang them up because I don't want to pull the den down like last mm -hmm. time. <laughs> right, let's put the lights in. Okay let's eat my milky yeah. bar. I can't see because pretty the guard dog is guarding. She's guarding the den. But Esme and Isla have been in there ages. They're absolutely loving it. <laughs> it's so cool, isn't it? They're playing with the dolls in there and they're literally loving it. And these two are being rowdy. <laughs> what is this bear doing? Oh, your neck's stuck. Oi, get back. You know what, darling? Let's show the iPhone. This is what you call the sock of a baby. Whose dad likes cleaning too much. Oh dear, whoops. Hey. Oh dear. Half white sock. 
<laughs> That's when Jay's has stood on my kitchen floor by accident when it's been all wet after dinner. Jay's, your bed, get here. Where's Isabel? Go get Isabel, where's Isabel? Are you coming to get daddy? Hello, darling. Oh, my boy. Where's Isabel gone? Oh, he's going. He's coming. She's coming. She's coming. <laughs> Where's Isabel? Oh, she's here. She's coming. Ah. Oh, no, he's going. He's going. Where's he going? Ah. Ah. She'll get you. Good boy. I oh, keep running back to daddy. <laughs> okay. We've just been playing around with Isla's new hair and it's so. Oh, can I see oh my the god. Can I tell us that I'm having all my hair dyed this cut tomorrow? Uh, Esme's now decided that she wants her hair doing. Like, like up here. <laughs> this okay, might be like a week of hair dyeing. So we did one whole plait. Hang on, wait a minute, Alice. Wait a minute. There we go. That's so true colour. So we did a plait. So we did. One plait, mixing the colours together, down. put it down, and a ponytail. I think ponytail's nicest. We'll do a high ponytail tomorrow. Yeah. Or we could have, imagine how cool two buns would look. <gasps> mm, like, cool. two high buns. Imagine, do you know somebody off um, Star Wars? Yeah, Princess Leia. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean, two, two different coloured buns. <laughs> but the girls have now decided that I need to dye my hair. Pink. Always. Oh, I haven't dyed my hair since she dyed it my colour. Pregnant with Esme. Before I was born, so like she dyed it my colour. Ten years ago, color. I did have orange hair at one point, and I absolutely Ooh. loved it. Why didn't it didn't look as it? nice as yours. I can't remember. I think I went. I got bored and I went blonde, and then I went brown, <laughs> and I went back blonde. I don't think blonde suits me. I feel like brown, mm. which is my natural colour. But growing up, I was always Isla's colour, and my dad was always quite blonde until he got older, and then he went dark brown. Isla, what on earth are you doing right now? Anyway, comment down below if you think I should dye him a hair pink, like at least half pink like Isla's, um, and maybe I'll do it. It's not like I've got anywhere to be at the moment, so now seems like the best time ever to dye hair. And it does work really well, the dye, especially because it's not like abrasive hair dye, it's just tissue paper. Yeah, so, I was gonna say it's not dye. It's not dye, no, it's just tissue paper. It's hot so tissue. It's hot, hot tissue. Hot that works better than revolution dye. <laughs> it's Definitely. like a and um, you get a bowl, you put hot we water. We filmed it, sweetheart. We don't need to say it again. We filmed it this morning. Good girl though. <laughs> Anyway, I think we're going to end the vlog here because we're about to just go and watch a movie and chill out for the rest of the evening. But it's been a really fun day today. Mm -hmm. We've got some really cool activities booked for this week and I did check. The girls are not back at school this week. I knew they weren't, but because I saw that status earlier today, a few people started saying they were getting back into the homeschooling routine, I kind of second guessed myself and thought, wait, are the girls back at school? No, they're not. You guys have got another week off. But we have been doing re reading and spellings and a bit of work still as well. Anyway... I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. <gasps> 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 <gasps>